The sun moves across the sky at 15 degrees per hour. So if you can move your solar panel at 15 degrees per hour, uh, you can follow the sun too. If your solar panel is on a thing called equatorial mount. Um, 15 degrees per hour is kind of hard to um, actually precisely do. So I have an imprecise method to do it. And then uh, you g get the precision by uh, turning on and off my motor that controls the speed um, to by the correct amount. So I turn it, in this case, I'm turning it on and off. Um, on for two minutes and off for one and a half minutes. And this means that my imprecise, uh, imprecise device will actually go at any speed you want. So I can get it to go at exactly the right speed to do the work. And that's an alternative to being a really fine craftsman. Yesterday I did uh, some graphs. I uh, had my um, uh, thing on that was uh, the motor on to increase the pressure over time and uh, this is the um, graph I got so it's it's a pretty straight line of my results apart from right at the start here where they go a bit wobbly but that's um, not concerned about that anyway air pressure millimeters for uh, or sorry in millimeters of water versus time so there's the, the air pressure measurements and there's the time. So I did it roughly every half hour. And then uh, at the same time, I was checking the rotation of the equatorial mount uh, versus time. So um, I did that. So there's the times. Uh, I was doing it at roughly the same time. So, um, the, uh, so 15 degrees is an hour's worth of rotation. So it was going too quickly. So 15, 30, 45. So I did seven hours. Sorry, I'll turn it this way. Seven hours of rotation in four hours. So that's uh, that's really neat. I'm, I'm so happy about that because it's easy to set my uh, timer up. So why did, so that's, um, it works out as, uh, what is it? Um, four minutes on, three minutes off. So um, on my timer, I didn't do four minutes on, three minutes off. I did uh, two minutes on, a minute and a half off. So hopefully with my solar panel, I will get a nice, uh, it will follow the sun really good today. And the sun is out. So it is uh, five to 12 on the 28th of September. And I have this thing going at this side because I couldn't find the right uh, size um, containers. So I have just a float in a, a float or a common weight in, in, the, in the bucket here and it slowly goes down as the water drips out here. And this is connected to the same pressure system or pressure measuring system as the other side. So this, uh, there's a float in here slowly rising as the float rises it drops the, um, the uh, twine and let's water out of this so this is pulling the equatorial mount to follow the sun and it's set up uh, exactly um, it's spot on straight at the sun I, I have set up this screw uh, it goes uh, at 90 degrees to the wood that uh, bears it. And as you can see, it's really, really close to being perfect. And so what I'm going to do is check it in one hour, two hours, three hours, and see how accurate this system is. And at this side, it's this is kind of what I wanted to do at the other side. But... Uh, at this side, I have uh, and the float is instead of going down, it's rising over time. So um, uh, yeah, it's it's rising and letting off slack, and um, uh, it's the the pressure is building up in this slowly and pushing the water down and into this. 
and these containers I'm hoping they're exactly the same size and if they are that means the thing on the other side should be working fine as well so yeah um, I shall check it in an hour and then uh, two hours etc etc and see how it's so going. So here is my uh, pressure maker I guess or it's it's the thing that gradually increases the pressure over time so here's the, the water pressure now, right now it's from here to there of pressure so um, I, have a, I have food coloring in it so we can see it and this is the speed that the air is being pushed out to the um, because the pressure is increasing over time this is the speed that the uh, air is being pushed out to slowly turn the um, uh, equatorial mount here we have this is, this is the thing that runs it all so this is a um, I bought the wrong one first it was CC WCW which means that it can work either counterclockwise or clockwise and every time you turn it on it can go in a different direction but this one is pretty much the same motor except it goes only counterclockwise it's just turned on now because it's on that timer to to um, to um, turn it on for two minutes off for uh, a minute and a half and I just go to the timer so here we go it's uh, counting down till uh, it goes off again and uh, yeah uh, I'm really hopeful that it does a nice job today and impresses me and impresses everyone else as well thank you very much it is midday on the, or the, the 28th of September so the obvious thing to do here instead of this and this would be to have a bigger container uh, a container I don't know um, yeah not that much bigger not double not double the diameter but say um, uh, one and a half times the diameter probably and a bigger float in it and the bigger float would have a uh, it would still have uh, uh, the line attached to it like this but it would also have a rod on it and um, the, ro uh, the, the other line would be being pulled as the rod rises up the other line would be attached here and being pulled so you get one line pulling one line pushing as the float rises instead of this but I, I don't have the right size container so um, I can't do that just yet but as soon as I can I will and maybe someone will beat me to it so here it is 1202 it's still looking pretty good So it's 1 p.m. and it's lost a little bit of, it's trailing the sun a bit because the shadow is a bit forward of it. Oh no, maybe it's gone, oh, hang on. Well, it's gone a little bit ahead of the sun, I guess, because the shadow is, yeah, sorry, I got it wrong. It's a tiny bit ahead of the sun. Oh yeah, the shadows on that side, so it's a tiny bit ahead. Um, here's it dripping. It's not dripping fast. This is probably the usual speed of it. It was dripping faster earlier on because I was uh, I had tried to get to the right spot. So maybe there was a bit of a lag. It hadn't com completely got to where it should have got to when I was working at and it's at G2 so um, an hour later when we check it again it should be at H2 so we'll see thank you so it's uh, where is it 204 and well, there's where we're at at the moment so it's a little bit ahead of it still self still and I could fix it but I'm not going to because uh, it's uh, it's a test 
and we're just going to see how it runs. So we're at four. So we're at GHI4, and I'm going to have to put a few more numbers on it. Because uh, uh, we're at I4 now. So it's uh, 302 and it's going slowly but maybe it's because the, the thing has stopped at the moment inside, I'm not sure. But anyway, we are at I3 at the moment. So we're at I3 and I'll go to the other side and see how we are for some. So we're almost exactly pointed ahead. We're still a little bit ahead of the game but this could be just because this is a little bit unbalanced or whatever and uh, uh, yeah, th this is getting higher and that's getting lower and the main thing is the thing is working and it's working reasonably well. Um, it's turning the um, turn, uh, turning the solar panel to follow the sun. So, uh, yeah, so uh, probably tonight before I put this video on I'm going to draw what this should be like and then we only need one uh, to to run it but uh, yeah it's, it's working the solar panel and the next stage is to put a solar cooker on the same on the same mount and with the solar uh, uh, solar cooker I'll I just leave this frame for the solar panel and use a different frame or make another frame thank you so it's uh, 340 and uh, it's pulled back it's pretty close to perfect and I'm not going to be able to make the four o'clock time so I'll just do one now so um, yeah it's this one over here so it looks like my um, equatorial mount is slightly off but very very slightly and uh, this is how fast it's dripping at the moment uh, what else do I want to do oh yeah this here so we are at I2 uh, I, I guess almost at uh, it's at I2 on this little thing so there we go so uh, I was away and um, it's gone to a place where this doesn't uh, this doesn't show so maybe there's something I can do to uh, to show how the light is going so the light is actually going pretty straight down, so that's uh, at right angle, so it's probably, it's probably in the right spot. And it's uh, 5.29, 5.30, and I'll just go over here and we'll see where this is at. So it is at K3.5, K3.5, so we'll be able to work out, um, but it seems like um, does seem like like this is at right angle so it's pointing in the right in the right direction still anyway I have to turn it off now um, yeah, unfortunately uh, oh there's this this screw here so it's not exactly and uh, in, in, I didn't possibly drill it straight, but it's pretty darn close to being correct. So I think it's okay. It's pointed in the correct direction.